Hello my fabulous lot, it's Mega Grand here again with another episode from building a Minecraft Zoo on Vintage Beef's Omega server. Now then, I've had problems with my orangutans as you know and this episode is going to correct that problem. However, I just needed to get rid of these fences because people were getting stuck in here. So I thought I'd better do that first so I don't forget it. Right, so that's one little jobby done. Right, let's go over and have a look at where we're at now with the orangutans. Through here and down here. Oh, what's that over there? What's that? Oh, it's one of those. That's okay. That's okay. I have one of those. Right then, let's see what my dwarf crocodiles are doing. He's one there or she, don't know. Where's another one over there? Look. And can I see any more? Let's see, let's see. Uh, can't see any around back there. Oh, here, look. One up there and one right down there. Oh, that's good. That is good. And it's good to see him getting about as well. Look at him up there or her. Oh, yes. I think they quite like their environment. I think they do. We still need names for these, though. And I have had one suggestion from Bubbleberries to call one Marty. So that will be one of the names and we need three others. But for today's episode, I want to revisit the orangutans. So let's go and see what they're up to. Right, I have four captionettes and unfortunately I am going to get them back in there so I can do something different with their enclosure. And I'm not touching the middle bit. There they are, look. A little bit different to what they have been doing but not what I want not what I want at all so let me get in here okay you can go in there and so can you and you and you that's all of them in there I'm gonna have to make sure they're fully healthy when I take them out again because they've been in and out of these nets like I don't know what right let us begin by getting these out and getting myself out of here as well. I've got some ladders. Let me try and get up there. Got some string there. Oh, can't get out here. That's not the right way. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's there. Now then, this extra work on the orangutan exhibit was inspired by Star Nanny and Jean Gina. So thank you both very much for your comments. So with Star Nanny having actually seen an exhibit that was predominantly glass and Jeannie's suggestion that they might not go up and down glass, I thought glass might be the way to go. So I'm getting rid of all this stuff and I'm actually going to push these walls back and have a glass barrier like a viewing area across from all the stuff in the middle. So people will be able to get all the way around and they will be able to see the orangutans wherever they are. Oh, no, I didn't want that off. That is the climbing frame. <laughs> I was a bit, uh, I was a bit overzealous there. Let me just put this back on. There we go. You never saw that. Okay. I am going to use all this wood again in the, I'm going to keep this design for the walls. So it's going to take me a while, is this, so I'll just show you snippets as I'm going along. This bit here, I'd like the logs, the top part of the logs to be seen through here. So I'm going to take these out, pity I'd made all this green um, wool, but it'll come in for something, no doubt. Let me see, I've got some shear somewhere, there we go. That's quicker. And then I'm going to upend the logs like this all the way around under the glass. And for the flat parts, I'm going to use glass panes. I think that will look really good. Right, let's get on with the rest. The diagonal bits, I'm going to use glass blocks 
because I'm not quite sure it might be a bit fiddly going around with the panes so I'm just going to use blocks I don't think it matters that much really I'm just going to fill the holes in that I come across for now and I'll come across them again as I push the walls out I need to be careful with this shape as well as I'm pushing the walls out to try and keep it consistent especially the, di the diagonal bits I don't want those to be uh, all wonky and this ceiling bit, I'm not quite sure at the moment what I'm going to use for that. Um, but I obviously, I don't want that dirt showing through, so I'm going to have to put something there. So I might try a few things and see which looks best. Maybe, maybe leaves? Maybe? What would they look like? I mean, from here I can still see the dirt through them, so I'm not, don't think I'm going to be keen on that don't particularly want to introduce any new material at this point so I'm thinking I don't know maybe maybe just jungle wood let's see what that would look like maybe it's just slabs uh, sort of a thin layer of slabs up there let's just take this on there put this in there let's see so if we had slabs i'd take it right up to the glass like that uh, put this other leaf in there hmm. i think i'm going with the slabs to be honest i'm still finding holes to caves uh, just blocking those up as i go along and I'm leaving three blocks in between the glass and the wall. And I think that'd be room enough for everybody to feel not too enclosed, I think. And on the diagonals, I'm leaving three blocks out as well. And I'm hoping that will look okay. So the walls are gonna be the same, but I need to push them out one more block to get the wall in. I do have to fit a floor in this time though. Not quite sure what to do with that. I think I'd like a mix of the pale woods in here. So the palm, the pine, and maybe some oak near the oak wall. Let's have a look what that looks like. That's not too bad, but I think I might mix them up a bit. Yeah, I think those mixed up would look quite nice for the floor. So I've got those in on quite a big bit of it. I'm just going to continue that round and then I'm going to lop some out and just change them up. Just a couple more there and that's the floor finished and I quite like that. Yeah, I quite like that. Now the wall. This is how I did it last time, and I'm sticking to that because I quite like the effect of that. And then just these to border the flat bits. Just breaks it up a little bit, I think. Lots of space all the way around. I quite like that feel as I go around. Right then, if I can find my way out, I want to go up top and see what it looks like where I've put the leaves and the jungle slabs. See if I can see if it makes any difference, whichever I put in. It was round this side. I can see a bit of the leaves. You can't see much though at all. I don't think it matters what you put up there. Although you can see it when you're down. Let's go and have another look down in there. And make up your mind, because I'm dithering a bit here. Let's have a look from the inside. I know that's not going to make any difference to anybody else, but... Yeah, you see, I can still see the dirt with the leaves. And I don't like that. So it is going to be, yeah, the jungle wood slabs. That's what it's going to be. I might get rid of those. And I think I'll need a lot of slabs for this. It's quite a big area, really. And there we go. That's all done. And I like that. I like the look of it. Now I need to make a, a way in, an entrance. So I'm thinking on this side, 
because the other side has got the mandrills over there so this is a bigger space and those are the blocks from the wall so I want to be on the other side of that so I'll clear a bit of space here and this can go back to grass here I think and I want a bit more space here so I'm going to peel this right back to that tree right let's go down oh some more holes I think I think we can go in here I think let's have a look see what we get aha now I think I made this quite plain a little bit of texture in it but quite plain and I'm going to use the palm wood for this bit so I'm going to replace all this all the way up the stairs with the palm wood and then I'm going to have a look and see what I can uh, use to make it a little bit more interesting Oh, another hole there. I'll peel this back a bit more because I wanted a different wall on this uh, staircase bit. So I'm using palm planks again and see what that looks like. There we go, it's coming on. Oh, someone wants to sleep. I don't often see the chat because I'm usually concentrating on what I'm building, but. I have done so I will sleep okay let's have another look I think that's coming on okay plain and simple that's what I wanted now the roof I'm gonna have it a, a diagonal sort of modern look to it and I'm gonna do that with slabs I think I want that to come down a little bit more on that side can I squeeze that in there I think I can yep there we go a little bit more on this side will finish that off nicely yeah I quite like that shape I'm going to texture this a little bit more with thatch I think that will go in there nicely whoops missed that let me do, do that again oh dear yeah I think that fits in there quite nicely let me just put another one up the top there. And a little bit of colour variation on the roof as well. So the roof is dark oak and these are spruce. So I think those go quite nicely. It looks a little bit weathered. Which should do really because it rains a lot on here as you can see. on with the thatch on the inside as well because I quite like that look and after the lights I need really to put these around the sides I quite like the way they were before um, but obviously there's more space now there's more wall so I need to space them out so that it gives light everywhere around now I need to figure out what I'm going to do for lighting on these diagonal bits but I've just got these spare lights so I'm just going to plonk these down for the time being we want some seats in here like so so people can sit and watch what the orangutans get up to <laughs> oh dear can't wait to get them in and no excuse to drop litter okay the time has come I want to get them in I want to see what they're gonna get up to I've got some splash portions of healing because they've been in and out of these nets like I don't know what and I'm sure each time you put them in and take them out they have a little bit of damage so I want them to be the best they can be when I put them in so I'm just gonna rearrange it so I've got a net and a splash portion for each of them there we go right I think I'm ready and those two to seal me in or seal me out when I come out so let's have a go let's go right to the back here put the first one down here there we go he's the lemon <laughs> oh I might have missed that let's have a look let me get my book let's have a look oh no nope. need to get a bit closer 
lemon male. So he is a he. 21. Oh, I did miss him. Oh, dear. Okay, I'll put the other one right next to it and see if they can share one. And that's the orange female. Let's just see. There we go. Let's have a look now. Oh, you're at full health. Oh, but you're still down a little bit. Oh, dear. Okay, well, I've only got two more on me, so I want to get the other two in. Okay, this was the grapefruit female. Let's have a look at you. Uh, oh, I can't get to you. You're inside a block of the, uh, the palm there. Can I push you out? Can I see you now? Oh, there you are. 22, 26. Oh, dear. Let me put the other one near you. And that's the tangerine male. Right, one more. Let's have a look. You're at 20. Oh, you've, you've separated now. Well, let's see. That was my last one as well. Let's have a look. 23, 26. That's not too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. Okay, then. That's it. They're in. I'm dying to see what they're going to get up to. Let's just put this on there and this on there. I'm going to pretty up a little bit more on the outside, but I'll do that off camera and then I'll show you what I've done in the next episode. But let's have a look. Well, they're not going up and down, so that's good. They're not going up and down at all. Oh, look at this one. He's got his bottom right outside the glass. I hope that doesn't mean he can escape. I can't push it back in, actually. So I think that must be a, a, a visual thing. He looks fairly happy in there. Looks like he's scratching his bottom, actually. Excuse me for looking. Now then. <laughs> Come on, you lot. Get on with it. What are you going to do? Oh, I love these orangutans. I really do. I really do. Oh, another one with his bottom stuck out. <laughs> oh, dear. I so want them to go um, into that middle bit and use all the, the stuff in there. Still still around the side. I hope he's not stuck there with his bottom. No, he's, look, he's moving now. Can he see me through that glass? I don't think he can see me. That would be nice, wouldn't it, if they could see us through the glass. I'd like it if I could see the name tags as well. The two males and two females I need names for. Nice, let's go and see them from up top. Oh, this is dark. I need lights for in here. Right, what can we see from up here? That one's still down there. Still around the edges they are. Oh, hey, oh, what's this? Something with a sword. Oh my goodness. There we go. No match for me and my bow. And trapdoors as well. So I've got those. Oh, let me take those uh, torches off there. Oh, has that got a hole in it? I think that's got a hole in it there. It's quite hard to see with this exhibition glass, but I think that is a hole. I think. Let me just... Uh, I've got some glass here somewhere. Where did I put it? Uh, nope. Ah, in there. Let me just have a block of that. And pop this in... Where does it go? In there. Okay. Right, I like this little entrance. I think it's quite neat. Quite like that. <laughs> right, so lights. Let's put one round about here, I think. Yeah, I think that'll go nicely in there. There we go. And the trap door. And I'll put one just opposite it, I think. So that'll go in there. There we go. And maybe there's one at the bottom here? Or about there. There we go. That'll do nicely, I think. I'm not liking this here. I think it looks odd on the side of the opening. I haven't liked it since I put it in. So I think I'll pop it there. So put that one in there and we'll get rid of this one. There we go. Oh. Put that back 
there and we'll have I've got a stripped one there stripped log put that in there there we go and take this one out there we go Ooh, two together yeah I think that'd be all right I think that'd be fine so I need that one in this one here there hmm I don't like this bench here as well I think it just clutters up this area doesn't it I think it does where have they got to? Ooh, that one's right up there, look. Yeah, it's not going up and down. So he's not climbing the walls, he's climbing the leaves, I think. So that's good. Where are the other ones? <laughs> Another one there. With his bottom against the glass. Uh, you're getting about a bit, aren't you? Yeah. I feel like they can see me, but I don't think they can. I don't think they can. I do want them to get in the middle there, though. Right, what was I doing? Um, yes, let's get rid of this bench here. I think, because of the opening, we can't have that there. But maybe I could make this one a little bit longer. So I'll just add one to this. There we go. Make a, long, a longer bench there. I think that's better. Okay. I need to pretty that up on the outside, I think. Uh, a bit of landscaping will do nicely there. So. Right, getting rid of all those. Because I think I've just about done. Right, let's have another look at them. See what they're doing. <laughs> oh, he's coming into the middle, look. Oh, is he going to get on there? Oh, he is, look. <laughs> He's gone up there. Go on, get up a bit further. Go on. You can do it. Oh, he's not stuck under there, is he? Don't be stuck. Don't be stuck. I want you to go up there. Come on. Oh, he's going across. Oh, he's going up. <laughs> oh, he's, he didn't go up the top, but he went to... Oh, and he's playing. He's playing on those... Uh, Ladders there. He quite he's quite enjoying that. There over there. Oh, that is awesome. That is so good. I think they're gonna be all over the place. I really do. That is really, really awesome. I love it. So that's it. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for your comments. That helped me out a load and gave me inspiration for what to do next. That's lovely. Next week, I'm looking at doing an exhibit for the banded penguin. So take care, everybody. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>